Aloha, this is Tim. I'm back for another iOS 1 versus iOS 5 comparison video. Today's video will go over just simply the iPod app and see how it's changed, how it's evolved over the years. So the iPod app has been rebranded in iOS 5 to music. So uh, with that, the interface has changed a little bit, but, but not too much. The iPad's where that's really gone astray. But in the, today's video, I'm just going to demonstrate how it's changed over the years and some different things about it. So let's, without further ado, just hop right into it. So here's the icon for music. It's now iPod, or was iPod, is now music. So here is the playlist list. And let's load this up here. So playlist-wise, you have the addition of Genius Playlists that was not present in the original. You have the ability to add on-the-fly playlists and you're able to hop into the uh, the music store, something that you weren't able to do in the old one. So if I load up the same playlist, Lullaby, you'll see some other options here. So the new one, you're able to edit, you're able to clear or delete. The new one, you have no options. It's just as is, like any other iPod. And you have the ability to download these, as many of these are on the cloud, through iTunes in the cloud, and things like that. So we start playing one white blank page, play page for example. Uh, let's start playing. And you'll notice a couple of different things here. First off, you'll notice AirPlay is present on the new one. It's not present on the old one. Also, you'll notice the up top here, you'll notice you have that same repeat sign. You don't have a genius sign. Uh, you have... So you have these two signs here. Uh, you have two out of four, but that's moved right there. And you have the same Mumford & Sons, white blank page, sign no more, titling up top. So all that's the same. You even have the same ability here to flip it around, star it, all that is exactly the same. Nothing's changed as far as the play interface. What, what What's interesting is with iPods, the enhanced AAC support is going by the wayside. So I don't have one on here to demonstrate, but if you load up an enhanced AAC, I'll download one just for reference on here. There's no way to do that on the iPod Touch. But I'll do so on this guy here. If I download an enhanced AAC, say iWake, I will not get chapter names anymore. Chapter names have been done away with with iOS 5.1. They are present on this one. The original iPhone, the original iPad had better enhanced AAC support than they do in today's version of the OS, which is a sad thing. So let me load up one of my older shows that is enhanced AAC. Let's download this. And that's a new ability as well, the ability to download uh, tracks right from the Apple store here, the iTunes store. Let's load back up this here. If we go through albums, uh, let's go to albums here. You'll see all songs, and then you'll see the the same pretty much interface. Nothing's changed there. If you flip it, that is exactly the same. You have this playlist support, the, the cover flow support, I should say. So let's flip this guy here. And you have cover flow support. So original iPhone on the bottom. And if I tap that, you have that same thing there. Uh, same blue header. Uh, nothing is at all changed here. You have the ability to press I there which does the same thing there, pause, same functionality across the board with with this here. So same exact thing uh, with that. Let me just rotate those back to normal. So nothing has changed in the cover flow way here, which is kind of interesting to note that it basically the entire interface, even the now playing thing, is almost exactly the same. Artist. Uh, is divided in the newer one by A's and things like that and all albums. And the older one, you didn't have that. That's changed. Songs, if I go to songs, you have shuffle and then you have the same division. And the original, though, you did not have the artist name underneath uh, the title of the song. So that has changed for the better, I think. And if I go to more, you've got some other options here. I've got audiobooks. No audiobooks loaded compilations no compilations got composers and genres and podcasts no podcasts are loaded and videos are actually within this application 
if I had some. I do not, so that's won't be demonstratable. Hopefully, in the future video, I'll demonstrate the videos app versus iPod app. Uh, let's check up on our download, and it is downloaded. So let's see what happened here. So if I load the music app, go to podcasts, I wake, and let's load up the show here. So you'll notice a couple of things. You'll notice there's artwork. You'll notice there's a link here and all that good stuff. You'll notice this. They stripped out the names and put chapter. I, in this podcast, put in the chapter titles. So it is now useless for people like myself to create podcasts that have names. Great. Good job, Apple. So that's uh, kind of a fail right there. So uh, let's get out of that. And that, I believe, is basically all I just wanted to demonstrate here on this iPod, on this music app. And uh, with that, I'll be back for a future video showcasing how the video part of this app has changed over the years and what, what, what's new about it, what's different about it. And I, I do hope you've enjoying, you are enjoying these videos about iOS 1 versus 5. You can check out my daily Apple News show over at iwakepodcast.com. And uh, I'll just talk to you guys real soon. Aloha.